building a cheese board should be really fun. It should uh, uh, build, especially an authentic French cheese board. Uh, it should stimulate all your senses, but it shouldn't be overly complicated. Making a cheese board should really be common sense. You, first thing that you need to do is you need to gather your essentials. What's an essential? Well, you know, things that you want to start with, like a soft, ripe, and bloomy rind cheese, like an Ile de France uh, Brie or an Ile de France Camembert. But don't be afraid to step up to, like, a Saint Andre, a triple creme. So that's essentially working your way through there. Also, what you want to do is vary some of the colors. So we look at the uh, different types of uh, cheeses that we can work with, starting off with soft, ripe, and bloomy rinds, or even a fresh cheese. Don't be afraid of, of uh, a fresh goat cheese. That's always fun. Ile de France makes a wonderful uh, herby cheese, uh, also with a uh, fine herb. But I'll, uh, but I'll keep in mind that uh, you want to get bold with it, too. Don't be afraid of adding a blue in there. Something that you want to kind of bring in the middle, maybe the Saint Agour. The Saint Agour is a double creme, so it gives you the, co the common bond between the two. Uh, stepping up to the next area would be a uh, washed rind cheese, and that, again, gives you a little bit more intensity of the flavor profiles. After you gather up your cheeses and then you know, pick a little bit of color difference, don't be afraid of some of the more bolder flavors. Something like gourmandise. Gourmandise with walnuts adds a real unique flavor to a cheese board uh, by uh, having a combination of the gruyere, the cheddar, the nuttiness of that. But also keep in mind that the milk can be different. So we start off with a cow's milk, soft, ripe, and bloomy rind. We have a goat's milk, fresh cheese. And then something like a turkey, where we have a sheep's milk cheese. Then uh, balancing out maybe with a fine Emmental style, like faux epi. So creating the cheese board can, be, can go any direction that you want. But the main thing is, is enjoying cheeses that you like and, and adding some variety or adding some difference. You want to stimulate all of your senses when you're tasting this cheese board, not just the fact that uh, I'm going to have a soft, ripe, and bloomy rind or I'll have a washed rind uh, Munster style. Be creative, make it fun, make it simple, but consider the basics and enjoy.